I have wanted to ride ever since I was a little girl, but I had lots of different activities to choose from. My parents said, you can't do it all, make a choice. And so I chose to do other things. At 38 years old, I decided that I wanted to do something for myself. And that was gonna be the time that I finally invested in doing some lessons. And so I started riding then. I met Megan because I was teaching for a friend at another facility. She came up on my evening of teaching and we clicked very, very well. I was riding all through my, my youth. I was immersed in it. My mother got me into it. My mother was a rider. Riding is a very cost prohibitive activity. There was even a time where I did the volunteer program because it was a volunteer to ride program. My daughter was taking lessons as well and we couldn't afford for myself and my daughter to ride at the same time. So by volunteering, I got my lessons uh, complimentary. That was where the impetus for Own Your Story started in terms of just really wanting to give back, to open that door. There are a lot of riding programs and bursary programs that exist where it subsidizes the riding lessons, but I wanted the Own Your Story uh, program to be that kids could take the lessons completely free of charge. Megan uh, gave us a call one day and had this great idea to uh, raise some funds uh, to help support the cost of uh, horseback riding lessons. Right now we have eight to ten regular riders and we have two more that are not really on a waiting list but we're waiting just to slot them in. Uh, the program itself, we don't just operate it from one equestrian or one barn. We have six or seven that we use throughout Durham Region. Because of the increased support from Kubota Canada Limited, uh, we also have a few grant proposals in place, donors, and Megan will run her campaign again. So we're hoping to keep this moving forward for many years to come. I was incredibly surprised by the generosity of the community. Lots of people reaching out because there were stories about the fundraiser on the local news who also said you know I am a horse person my kids ride I'd love to be able to support this charity I wanted to gear the program towards children and youth that could really benefit from uh, time at the barn I enjoy the animals and being outside my aunt at one point told me that when I like when we were younger we had horses but I don't know when that was I'm pretty sure like last year or something I started like riding horses again. Being able to, to meet Devin face to face, to see him riding um, was absolutely amazing. I was so proud of how well he did. He just got up there and had such confidence. He asked a ton of questions, was really engaged, which is always wonderful. That's what you want to see. That's the best that you can hope for. I'll be the first to say that I had a little bit of an attitude. I was not a good kid, but you learn very quickly that not listening and not communicating how you feel and what you want to do just leaves you stuck. Because when you're on a horse's back, you can't focus on much else other than what's happening in front of you. My favorite thing about horses is coming out to the barn and just seeing a horse every single day and it's just so calming and fun. When you try like a canter or anything, that takes a lot of courage. So I found that courage comes in in life. I also enjoy spending time with the horses. It's kind of just like how I enjoy spending time with some of my friends. It's just fun. It's an understanding between you and the horse of space and respect. That builds confidence, and it builds strong social skills, it brings a secondary support system and community and family together. It would be giving other people exposure to that that normally wouldn't have it. I do it over and over again if I could. I had always intended on, you know, doing whatever I could to make sure that there was a continuous pool of funds available so that kids could continue riding. Kubota's support means that I don't have to worry about that this year. It's taken care of, we know, and anything that I do above and beyond the title sponsorship just means that even more kids get to ride. I'm, <laughs> I'm really proud. I really am. It's, uh, it's 
it still feels a bit surreal. Like I sometimes have to pinch myself that all of this is actually happening. And it's been a really wonderful journey to this point, but I think that we, uh, we really are just getting started.